Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. It's nice to meet you. Good. Nice. Nice to meet you. So, um, um, you have uh, you're seeing a 65 year old male, um, in 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 patient. Um, he has long term vascat for dialysis, and uh, every time he goes on dialysis, he gets uh, pain in the chest. Okay. Um, I would start by doing a history and physical exam. Um, I would want to know about any history of stroke, uh, peripheral vascular disease, um, what medications he's on. And on my physical exam, I would be listening for uh, murmurs or bruits um, and doing a full cardiopulmonary exam. Okay. He's on the aspirin antihypertensives. And um, he does have history of claudications. Okay. Uh, does he have a history of smoking? No, just a uh, hypertension. Okay. Uh, next, I would order uh, some labs, including a CBC, uh, also uh, coags, and uh, also I would order a chest X-ray and EKG. Okay, his lab shows <clears throat> his creatinine is six, um, his hemoglobin is nine, um, EKG shows sinus rhythm, X-ray is unremarkable except presence of long-term dialysis catheter. All right, uh, next I would like an echocardiogram as well as um, evaluation of the coronary arteries including a left heart catheterization. Okay. So echocardiogram shows good um, cardiac function um, and preserved dimensions. Um, there's no valvular abnormality. The angiogram shows he has uh, distal 80% left main stem stenosis, proximal and mid LAD stenosis, and has uh, severe uh, mid circumflex stenosis, as well as 90% osteal right and uh, heavily calcified. Okay. Uh, so far, um, the patient sounds like he has a triple vessel disease, um, severe coronary artery disease. Uh, given his other comorbidities, um, I would still want um, a vascular duplex uh, ultrasound to look for, uh, because of his history of claudication. Also, I would like a carotid ultrasound as well. Okay. Carotid ultrasound shows 50% um, bilateral uh, internal carotid artery stenosis. And um, his peripheral arterial study show he has um, significant peripheral arterial disease. Um, then, uh, I would also, uh, want to complete, um, a chest X, sorry, we talked about chest X-ray, but pulmonary function testing, um, and his did you mention, are normal. Uh, mm -hmm. and did you mention that is, uh, what his EF was? Is 60%. 60%. Okay. Um, and on chest X-ray, was there any evidence of aortic calcification? No. Um, so this patient uh, has severe coronary artery um, disease and um, uh, should proceed to the operating room for coronary revascularization. Um, he is at a little bit higher risk because of his uh, end-stage renal disease, um, but I believe that the chest pain that he's having um, is uh, would be considered probably unstable angina, um, but it's being provoked uh, with his dialysis. Okay. How will you do the operation? So I would approach it from a median, median sternotomy. Um, so I would start with the patient uh, supine. He should be intubated with uh, uh, central access, arterial access, uh, full catheter in place. Um, I would prep the 
chest and also um, have the legs prepped um, as well. Um, I would proceed uh, by taking down the left internal mammary uh, first um, with the plan to do a three vessel cabbage and to uh, implant the lima to the LAD uh, and saphenous vein graft to the OM and the RCA. Okay. So oh, okay. you harvested the conduits, um, you open the pericardium and, and you find that the aorta is calcified mm -hmm. and um, you do an apiotic and it is heavily calcified aorta. Okay. Um, so at this point, um, I, the, um, I would be unable to do the proximal vein graft anastomosis like I had planned. Um, also um, would be unable to cannulate the aorta like I had planned. Um, I would then, because I have already harvested the left internal mammary, do a off pump single vessel cabbage lima to LAD and the other two lesions, uh, he would need to get PCI and stenting. Will you discuss this with cardiology? Yes, I yes, I would call the cardiologist and discuss okay. with them to see. Yeah, the, he says he cannot do stand to the circumflex and right. He okay. thinks, you know, he has angina. You should take care of everything while you're there with chest open. Okay. Um, it would be uh, more challenging, um, but other options would be um, to perform um, multiple arterial grafts. Um, and so uh, I could do a Y graft using a radial artery um, or using or he's harvesting. A, Sorry. He's a dialysis That's right. patient, That's so right. he may need a... Okay. Um, yeah. So I would harvest the right internal mammary artery um, and I would use the right internal mammary artery to bypass the RCA. The lima would be to bypass the LED. The um, right internal mammary artery, his RCA is calcified. Rima doesn't reach the PDA. Okay. Uh, then I would use the um, uh, Rima as a Y graft uh, off the lima. Would it would it reach the PDA in that configuration? It will, reach the, it will reach the OM. The OM. Okay, so I would perform a Y graft anastomosis uh, with the. Will you do graft. this off pump? I would try, but it, I think that it would be more challenging and probably, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I've. To be honest, no, I would uh, need pump assist. Um, and so I would cannulate through the femoral um, is, femoral is a peripheral, artery. peripheral vascular disease. That's right. His mm -hmm. femorals are also calcified. Yeah. 